Welcome back to a new video. This lecture is going to be about stationarity and differencing. This video is going to be one of the videos that I create for my time series analysis playlist. You can just reach to that playlist from the cards of this video. Let's start coding. Let's start by creating a data to work with. I will do a copy paste for the data creation. I'm just going to paste my code in here and then I'm going to say something like data frame.head for checking our data set and it seems nice we have date the new values column 1 column 2 and column 3 okay great let's start by talking about stationarity stationarity is a key concept in time series analysis a stationary time series is one whose statistical properties such as mean variance and autocorrelation remains constant over time this is crucial for building reliable models so for checking that we can say mean linear values and it can be something like data frame linear values dot mean also we are going to cover the autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation in another lecture in this course let's say variance linear values and it's going to be data frame linear dot variance and we can just print these values like I'm going to say print f mean of linear values and it's going to be like mean linear values and we can just print something like variance of linear values and it can be like various linear values so with these values what we can do for checking the stationarity is we can use augmented dicky fuller test which is commonly used for checking the stationarity so for that i'm just going to import add fuller from stats models that time series analysis that stats tools i will import add fuller and then i'm just going to say data frame date and it's going to be pandas date time date time data frame date and after that i'm just going to set this as index set index date and i will say in place equals to true so when i call the data frame again you are going to see that our date is going to be like the index in here so also you can check it if it's indexed by calling the data frame index and you will see our date values date time index great i'm just going to say i will recall the data frame again I'm going to say time series values and it's going to be data frame linear values I'm going to extract them so when I call it we are going to see that we have these values in here with the dates so we can create something like result and we can just use add filler class we can just give time series values and then I'm going to say auto lag is going to be AIC so after that I'm just going to call the result and we are going to take them like print ADF statistic it's going to be result 0 and I will print P value and it's going to be like result 1 and I'm going to say print critical values and I will just call result 4 in here so after that we are going to see our values in here and then i'm going to interpret the results like if result one which means the p value is less than or equal to 0 0.05 then we are going to say reject actually in a string reject the null hypothesis the time series is likely stationary like this and i will say else print who failed to reject the null hypothesis the time series may not be stationary great so when i run this we are going to see that we have failed to reject the null hypothesis the time series may not be stationary great let's keep with talking about differencing by the add filler side you can just use this the same code for applying it and you are going to get this hypothesis testing the evaluation every time so i'm going to keep by talking about differencing again differencing is a technique used to make a time series stationary 
it involves computing the difference between consecutive observations so i'm just going to recreate the data frame we have at the, from i will just copy this code again and i will come to bottom i'm just going to say this and after that i'm just going to call the data frame again okay it's brand new again i'm going to say data frame differenced values is going to be equal to data frame linear values that difference so we are going to get a differentiated version in a new column like in here so first value is na because we don't have any before values this is the first one and after that i'm just going to create a plot from this i will say plt dot plot i will call the data frame date i will call data frame linear values like this i need capital letters for it to be correct and then i'm going to set the labels as original and then i'm going to say plt.plot actually i'm not sure if we imported the matplotlib i will just check by re-importing it and after that i think it's going to be fixed i will say data frame date and i will say data frame diff values i'm going to set label as differenced and i will set line style like this great so after that i'm going to give the title like original versus differenced time series and i'm going to add x label like date and y label like values i will add legend and i will use plt.show like this so there's attribute error let me quickly change that it's going to be label instead of labels so it's going to work out smoothly right now great in conclusion we have explored two fundamental concepts in time series analysis stationarity and differencing so stationarity is crucial because it ensures that statistical properties like mean variance and autocorrelation remain constant over time we are going to talk about autocorrelation in other lectures and we verified this by checking the mean and variance of our original linear values column and we just used augmented dickey fuller test it's a commonly used test for checking the stationarity and differencing on the other hand is a powerful technique to make a time series stationary we applied first order differencing to our data set creating a new column difference values the resulting plot showcased how differencing can help remove trends making the time series more suitable for analysis Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This was one of the lectures of time series analysis playlist. You can watch the others for learning more. I'm going to add the playlist link in the cards of this video or in the description. See you in the next tutorial.